Hey guys, <laughs> what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to BIOS update the EVGA P104-100 mining specific cards. Some of you guys may have saw the video previously. I just made this rig. This is a 12 by P104-100 mining card rig on one motherboard okay we are running on a gigabyte v250 fintech motherboard and i haven't installed anything yet because i wanted to make a video regarding how to bios update these four gigabyte cards as eight gigabyte cards okay so the evga p104s already come with eight gigabytes fabricated on the graphic card right so from the factory they come with timings on the initial EVGA BIOS for four gigabytes, but they have eight gigabytes capable for mining, okay? So I'm gonna unlock them, and the only way to do that, to do all 12 at the same time, in my thinking right now, is to use Hive OS, okay? So I'm gonna be using Hive OS to update these cards, and so we're gonna be using a USB stick. So I have a brand new USB stick here, this is a SanDisk Ultra Flare 32 gigabyte USB and this should be really good for Hive OS. So I'm going to go into the computer now and show you guys how to pretty much format this USB with Hive OS first. So I'll see you guys there. All right guys, so I am on hiveos.farm slash install, okay? So on their website here, and they have a specific install page. So they have ASIC, GPU, they have a beta image here. So this is if you want to use the latest, greatest drivers and experimental features. They have a AMD Vega image and a flashing utility, which I will show you guys in a second that we're gonna use to flash the USB stick, okay? So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the GPU, so this is the Hive OS, the stable version image, okay? So I already got it downloaded, and I have Belina Etcher, okay? So this is the USB tool to format your USB stick, okay? So I already plugged in my 32 gigabyte USB. I already downloaded the software. The button is right here to install it to your computer, okay? So open up Belina Etcher, select image. I already have it downloaded here, so it's about a 1.77 gigabyte file, the Hive OS 0.6-84. And they always update it from time to time, so I guess depending on when you're seeing this video, make sure you download their latest version from their website. Now, we want to select the target, and we want to do that to my 32 gig SanDisk here. So here it is. It registers as 30.75 gigabyte at the moment. Hit continue, and let's hit flash. And this will, you know, take about a good couple minutes and flash complete there we go so now in file explorer you should be able to see your usb stick and it'll have all the hive os files so now the next step is to get your rig config now this is where you can go on to your hive os once you've made an account and if you're doing this for the first time you just simply register on hiveos.farm and you'll see your own account and stuff so now you'll see this window you guys may see I have already two other rigs here. These are the P104-100 rigs that are hosted with nerdgears.com and these were already BIOS modded to 8GB cards so I didn't have to do that then but I'm glad I can show you guys an example with my 12 P104-100s. It's funny that I have 4 here and then 8 and then now I'll have 12. <laughs> P104s. Okay, so now the next step to get the rig config, we have to hit the plus sign at the top of the website here. Go to add a worker. Okay, so enter worker name where I'm just going to do 12 by P104-100. Enter a password. I'm going to have to do this all again so that you guys don't, you know, use my password stuff. And so it'll, you just hit the random, it'll create a password, hit add. Okay then you will see looks like something new. Let's rock it to the moon here. So what we need to do is download the rig config. Okay, rig.conf at the very bottom here. Okay, so just want to download that. You'll see it'll go here. Looks like I've already downloaded a bunch of rig configs. And basically we need to move that rig config into your USB here, okay? So you may want to edit if you have more than one rig configs since it's coming up for me multiple different ones. And if we uh, open with here notepad, I don't know why it's showing up PDF for me, but you can see here it has my rig password and my worker name already here. So, and the rig ID, this is what associates to my Hive OS account, okay? So there you go. 
that's all you need to do don't need to save it or anything now we can eject this USB and let me go ahead now and bring this USB to the 12 P104 rig all right so you gotta make sure we turn off the rig first okay so it is off now now we want to plug in the USB okay that we just formatted with Hive OS alright so there it is it's all plugged into the motherboard that's all you need to do triple check that it's in now we're gonna go ahead and turn on the machine okay it's booting up now I wonder if we are going to yes right away it's it's showing up the Hive OS it's booting into the USB automatically and we should see some Linux words Linux stuff come up here yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we have to go back to the computer just to see if it's booting up on the Hive OS account. Okay, so I'll see you guys right there. All right, guys, so now it shows my 12 by P104 100 mining cards on Hive OS now. Really cool. It shows that it's missing a flight sheet because I haven't applied it to it yet because all we're doing in this video is BIOS modding. Okay, now if we click onto it, we can see that there are 12 of them and you guys can notice the P104-100 4042 MIB I'm guessing this is the video memory that's on these graphic cards showing right now okay I want to give you guys an example on my other rigs for example my 8x P104 rig it shows 8121 MIB so this is the 8 gigabytes okay so that is what we're trying to achieve in order to unlock the memory of these 12 P104s. All we have to do now to update the BIOS is go to overclocking, go to flash vBIOS. Now we need to choose the v vBIOS ROM file. Now you guys may, may be wondering, Red Panda, where did you get the BIOS for your P104 100s? Well, you can get it specifically on techpowerup.com. And I want disclaimer. I am not responsible for your guys' broken GPUs after if it did not BIOS mod correctly after, okay? So don't blame me. I've done this only on my EVGA branded P104s, okay? So take that as you will. You guys can try it if you'd like, but I am not responsible if it bricked your GPU. Just disclaimer, okay? So the one I downloaded specifically for my card is this one here. It says NVIDIA P104 108 gigabyte and the BIOS date here is 2019-0224 and here is the microcode 86.04.78.00.19 now let me just show you real quick here let me exit out of here go back to my other rigs uh, just to correlate the microcode here 86047A0019 okay so that's the same model same version that I'm using okay so download that Let's go back to Hive OS here. Go back into my 12 by P104. Okay, now let's just let's 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 BIOS flash all 12 of them. Okay, so this is why I love Hive OS is that simply I can I can flash all of these cards at the same time, which is just awesome. All right, enough rambling. I'm gonna update the BIOS on all of these cards. So I already have it downloaded the P104-100 ROM from Tech Power Up. And now it'll say GPU index. This is the next thing you have to click. You can individually BIOS mod each card if you'd like, but uh, I've always had good experience just hitting all. And we want to click on force flashing, ignoring security checking. Okay. Hit upload. And there we go. Now all of the GPUs will be flashing right now. It says NVIDIA underscore upload. It is going to start uploading right now, and it will say at the end, please restart your rig. Going to give it a few moments here. Okay, so that took about two to three minutes, I was counting. And it says now, ROM flashing OK, now reboot. Okay, so when that's going, guys, don't close anything. Don't reboot the rig. Don't shut down the rig while it's flashing. I would not recommend it as it could brick your cards during the BIOS modding okay so just let it go if you guys are thinking like oh it's frozen or something I had to wait three minutes to four minutes for the 
12 cards here to BIOS flash, okay? So just disclaimer on that. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead, reboot the rig, and uh, we'll see what happens after the reboot. Alright, so the rig is back on. We're back on the home page of the HiveOS account. And now you guys can see 12 by P104 100s. Let's verify if it shows 8 gigabytes. Yes, it does. There we go, my friends. All done. So, there you go. Pretty simple, pretty easy to BIOS mod your cards, specifically the P104 100s, to the 8 gigabyte cards. Now, some of you may be asking if there are different versions of the BIOS. I have not tried any of these other ones. There's Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, uh, Palette, Galax, MSI, Gigabyte. There's a bunch of other ones here uh, when you go to the uh, unverified uploads, okay, on Tech Power Up for the video BIOS collection. And then the card model, you have to scroll all the way down to P and then 104-100s uh, to see these different BIOS models here, okay. So, 4 gigabyte ones, 8 gigabyte BIOSes, 8 gigabyte color Colorful, that's another brand, I'm not sure. But anyways, my friends, that's it. That's how you BIOS mod your cards on HiveOS. Very simple, and now I am ready to get mining, which I will do in another video. This video was specifically just to BIOS mod the P104s from 4 gigabyte to 8 gigabytes. So let me know what you think, my friends. Thank you for watching, all that good stuff. Hit the like button. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.